I've heard folks in the creator space say that you should create for yourself first and not for an audience. And it's a good idea because if you're writing about the things that you love, you're more likely to find other people who feel the same way. Now, that approach is going to be way more genuine and it's going to be a lot more likely to find the right folks for your tribe. And that's how you can build an audience that fits you. But when I look at that statement, I want to change it just a smidge. I'd add that you shouldn't just create for yourself first, but actually create yourself first. And what I mean by that is that you want to start by defining what your values, what your beliefs, and what the things that you bring to the table. You want to make sure you're clear on your vision and your mission, on the people you're trying to serve and why those people. This is going to be your foundation for building your home bids, the, the audience for, for your home business. And when you know yourself, when you can present a genuine, coherent identity to the world, it's that authenticity that, uh, that attracts people. It draws people who share your values. And really, do you want to work with people who don't share your values? It sounds like way too much effort to me. And in the realm of home business audience building, authenticity isn't just a buzzword. It's your most powerful tool. Kind of like a sculptor. Before you can work or make a work that speaks to a viewer, you need to understand your tools, your materials, the basics of your craft. And for those of us that are in the home business and the personal development world, understanding who you are and what you stand for and where your passions lie is the first step before you start to carve out your audience. Now, this is the cornerstone of home business audience building. Oh, this is my partner for the afternoon. And yeah, you, you probably won't get it just right with the first or maybe even the tenth iteration, but this isn't just a tactic to employ, but it's a work of self-realization. You're going to massage it over time. Now, when I started building a social media file, I went charging headlong into posting and writing without first working on my brand identity. I got started, I got a little bit of a following, but folks who I was adding, they weren't really engaging. I wasn't talking to the right people. They were attracted to kind of a momentary buzz and not to me or my brand. And really, I sounded like every other person in the home business field. And then one day, I came to realize, you want to get down? Okay came to realize that the people I really wanted to help with this stuff were middle-aged guys like me. Guys who played by the rules and worked hard and still didn't have enough in the bank for retirement. People who were going to be working until their company retired them because they wouldn't be able to afford to live, leave on their own. Now, those men are more important to me than the stay-at-home boss moms. And there are lots of people waiting to help them anyway. But it seems it isn't fashionable to talk to men these days. And that's when the idea of the missing comma came to me. And that's the direction I've tried to steer my content ever since. And now I've got a better engagement, I've got a stronger audience, I've got a business that I like doing. And this idea of creating yourself first, it's going to involve continuous learning. It's going to involve adapting. The process doesn't start or stop once you start gaining followers. And the more you learn about yourself and your industry, the more it's going to change for you. Uh, but that's going to attract the people that are going to see you not as just a brand, but as a partner, as a resource. And this focus on self-creation, it, it's going to give you resilience because you're going to be foundation. You're going to be grounded in who you are and what you stand for. So you're going to have a, a more stable place from which to navigate the troubles that are inevitably going to come when you're building a business. And that's going to come through and that's going to deepen the connection between you and your audience. So it isn't just about better branding. It's about creating a real, authentic connection that goes beyond the usual transactional nature of business. It's about becoming the person that other people are going to stick with, not because of what you sell, but because of what you represent. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about this home building business thing or building a home business, um, I wrote a book, a little primer on seven steps or seven days to, to building a profitable home business. Uh, it's a primer on finding a business, a business model that fits you, uh, a business that'll fit you, and how to take it from your, your first initial ideas to making a profit with it. Uh, if you want it, it's a free download. I'll drop, I'll put a link down underneath. You can click it. Hope to see you, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.